Welcome back to Popcornia. This is Ahmed, and today I'm joined by the the beloved fan oh, favorite, beloved. Danny Ames. Beloved, yes. Oh, I take the fan favorite as well. Yeah. Of okay. Yeah. Oh, I'd be taking that. Yeah. How, how are you feeling? Very well, man. Very excited that this is all coming to to life. It feels real now. I'm excited, bro. I mean, it is real. You come like quite dressed in the, the gym attire, just bro. ready to hit some hey, swing. We came straight from a gym, straight yeah. from training. Do you know what I mean, I'm not here to to dress to impress. I save that for the actual press conference. Yeah. I'll rock out in a suit and all that. But hey, this is just another day, man. Another day. Well, I, I've been waiting to catch you for a while. Yeah. Because I, I interviewed Bevo a while ago. I, I saw your. I reacted interview. to it. You right? did. You did. I reacted yes. to it. Okay. Then I'm going to react to this. Okay. I'm going to react to myself. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah, of course. Of Thank course. You. Yeah. Thank you. So, do you remember the kind of things Bevo was saying in that interview? Not really. I just I remember him saying he's got more experience than me, but then he said he'd never fought, yeah. and it didn't really make sense to me. And some weird insults. I don't. I don't really know, but yeah. I mean, he, he'd been saying he'd been taking the training quite seriously. He was very ready for you. He thought you'd be, like, quite easy. Well, what are your thoughts on that? But he, I promise you, he knows that's not true. Like, everything he is saying, he knows is not true. He's not been training hard. I, I pray he is training hard. I mean, I've not worked this hard for the past seven months. Just to, don't get me wrong, round one knockout would be lovely. Yeah. But I've not trained this hard just to show people 10 seconds of my fight. I want to I wanna school this man. Yeah. I want to bully this man. So I hope he has been training. You've been working for seven months? It will be seven months. Well, I started in February. So by August 31st, it will be seven months. Yeah. Why, why so long? Mate, I want to come prepared. Like, I don't want, you know, you see people come in this space and be like, look, I've never boxed before. Get me in there. I want to fight in eight weeks or whatever. Yeah. It's just... I want to, yeah, I've got pride, like there's a lot of pride in line here. If I lose the Bevo, it's a long day. So, yeah, I've made sure I've had, uh, I've had the, oh, what's a big word? A qu it starts with an A, please help me out. A, a um, an equintable amount of time. An inquintable? I don't think I'm that's trying to, I'm trying to increase my vocabulary. An inquintable. You should, you should read a thesaurus, I think. Yeah, yeah. an inquintable is a word. Is it a word? I've had an inquintable amount okay. of time. I'll, I'll look that up later. <laughs> But Bevo, he had like some training clips, some sparring clips. He looked decent. What did you think of him? I'm not paying attention to any of that. Like we can all, uh, anything like punching a pad or anything like that, I'm not really asked about. Um, I, I'll be honest, I don't care about like watching. Like, again, I hope it's sick. Like, I'll be honest, I've not looked at yeah. anything. Um, but I hope he can fight. Yeah. I hope when he spars, he's sparring. He's, he's knocking people out and sparring. I hope he's doing all this. I really do. But... I just don't believe it. I don't. Uh, I'm sure your coach must be watching his clips, right? Like, yeah, no, it. of course. That's his job. Do you know what I mean? I just rock up, do my job. That you know, he tells me what to do. Um, but, I, but you know, you've always got to take it with a pinch of salt. You can, you know, I can film a vid and purposely leave my hand down or whatever, right. and then they'd be like, oh, he leaves his hand down. Do you know what I mean? Like you can, you can easily manipulate it. So we're not paying too much attention to it. Do you think he's doing that at this sort of stage in his boxing no, career? I, I don't think he's that knowledgeable to do that. I think he is just quite poor at boxing, but yeah. Now, talk to me a bit about your coaches. Like, where, where are you the training boys, at? The absolute boys, H and AB, New Era Boxing Gym. I absolutely love them to pieces. I, I feel like they're my family. Great. Like I go in to training, it's just like hanging out with my family. Obviously, we get hard work done. But it's a nice environment. It's a, a professional environment. Loads of pro boxers. It's 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 the best place to be for this. How did you come into contact with them? My beautiful girlfriend, Tennessee Fresh. She that was her old coach when she did boxing. Right. So I thought, hey, you did quite well. Let me uh, let me ask them. And they said, you know what? We'll give it a try. And bosh, it's worked out. It was just a perfect match just from yeah. the get go. Honestly, like we had that connection already. Yeah. So it's good, man. It's good. Okay. Uh, now talk to me a bit about your boxing plans because I've heard you say Bevo is not really the end goal for you. You want to nah, stay in the on, scene fair, for a long time. So where do you go from this? Um, uh, mate, the plan is we knock Bevo out, make a statement, call out Joe Weller, go from there. I, I, me personally, I think Joe Weller is the end goal. Right. But then I don't want to don't want to peak too early. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like after I beat Joe Weller, then what? I'm not too sure. But Joe Weller would. That's the guy I've been calling out since day one. It's nothing personal, no yeah. grudges. I like the man, but it would be really nice to fight him. So end goal, so you don't want to fight him like straight after Bevo? No, I, I want to. I want to. I, I, I want to have a quick turnaround. Like after I beat Bevo, I'll probably be very untouched, yeah. respectfully. I don't think I'm going to need much time off. So next show after uh, after Misfit 17, 
I'm there. So perhaps the, the Qatar card in November here. Yeah. I would love that. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, that is the that's the goal. I'd love that. I mean Joe's been waiting for an opponent. I mean his fight with Ethan didn't work out. Yep. So I think perhaps the winner of you and Bevo could step in. Please don't. Don't say I've got, I've got, I've got to be unbiased. Bevo. Come on, man. <laughs> I have to be on it will happen, yeah. Okay. I look forward to it. No, I think I think he's quite interested in that. He's been talking yeah, about man. it. Yeah, no, we we've both spoke and like we're both interested. There's no like bad blood, it's just like, yeah, we both want to fight, let's do it. Why Joe Weller exactly? Bro, he's one of the founders of well, he is the founder of like YouTube boxing. Like six, seven years ago he started this. So I think it'd just be a pleasure to fight him, man. Yeah. I think you and Beaver is like quite a, a breath of fresh air in yeah. intimacy. No, it's doesn't? like it's back to the old school exactly, influencer yeah. roots, yeah. Isn't it? and that's how that's how it should be, to be honest with you. So yeah. It's going like a bit on the professional side, and I think I, I've quite a lot of fans quite miss the YouTube side of yeah, it. So yeah, no, hundred percent. Yeah, bringing that back now. I can't wait, yeah, man. I'm excited. And after Joella, it, you said that's the end goal. So yeah, I don't know. After you don't that, know man. a belt, maybe? No, I'd love that. I'd love okay. the belt. I'd love the belt, but like, don't get me wrong. I fight for titles and that, but it's not like the motivation for me. Yeah. I'd rather just do fights I'd want. Like so, say for example, could I fight? Would I rather fight Slim for the belt, f hypothetically, or like Weller for fun? Yeah, I'd want to fight Weller for fun. Do you know what I mean? Like a belt is cool, but I'm fighting for vibes, mate. I want vibes. Which weight class are you fighting in? Um, no comment. No comment. No comment. Uh, I was trying to no get an idea of like which belt you could no fight for in the future, no but comment. but no comment. I'll ask you that again next time. That's fine. Now Bevo's gonna be here like eventually. Are you gonna wait around for him? I couldn't be asked, mate. I need to go home and I need to train. Yeah, I'm literally just getting screamed at now. So yeah, I need to go train him, mate. Um, he can talk his talk or whatever. I don't really care. Okay. Now before I let you go, any last words to the people? Thank you so much, everybody, for making this happen. Like genuinely, I cannot wait to get in the ring, show you how hard I've been working. It's going to be very, very good. Try and get yourself down to Dublin, Ireland. If not, just watch it online legally, of course. Um, and yeah, you'll see a good knockout. Well, Danny, it's been a pleasure hey, interviewing pleasure, you, my friend. Thank and you I'll, much, I'll probably catch you on the fight week. 100% you will, 100%. Nice All right, one. take Thank care. You.